Welcome back to our channel. This is my video on the what's in our Christmas Eve boxes and what the kids will be getting for their Yule gift this year. Now, I don't know about the rest of you, but our tradition in our family since I was little was we celebrate Yule. And that's just, I get another nature-based celebration that happens around the same time every year, the uh, winter equinox. So, we we'll always get a little something, not very big or whatever, but we lost my mom this year and the children and I were going through some of my old photos and they fell in love with this ceramic Christmas tree. I don't know if anybody of you remember these from like 70s, 80s, 90s. I'm showing my age here. But uh, she painted it herself. It had those little balls that you, or not balls, I guess bulbs that you stick in and when you lit it up, it was so pretty. You could put them in whatever arrangements you wanted and so on and so forth. Well, while I was out shopping today, I was at the dollar uh, dollar store, the Great Canadian Dollar, and the first thing I saw when I walked in, this brought me back to my mom, was these. I don't know if you can see that or not. But I thought, I saw that and I thought of my kids, and it's so tiny and everything. So, I got one for each of them. And for $10, that's not bad. It's plastic and it runs on batteries, so it's not exactly the same. But I thought they would really like that. So that's going to be their Yule gift this year, as well as they were each going to get uh, a necklace from me and their daddy, uh, a pentacle. So... If nobody knows what that is, it's just a star in a circle, a five-pointed star in a circle. I had a couple, and I thought they would really love them. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but in our family, it passes. We're good. So, anyways, now I will head off and show you what we got for each of them in their Christmas Eve boxes. Okay, so here's our daughter's Christmas Eve box. Now, she is 11 this year and has got to stop growing because she no longer fits kids' clothes, as in in ladies' small or ladies' medium, depending on what it is. So this year, as per normal, I don't know how everybody else does their Christmas tree Eve boxes, but you do. we have Christmas PJs. So here are the ones that she has. Cute little gingerbreads all over them and everything. So they're gonna go in the box. Hopefully, I can do this. There we are, one handed, gotta love it. So, there we go. So, another tradition that we have done, which is a lot of fun, is of course, you have to have an activity. Wow. My kids are getting old enough now that we pretty much have every Christmas movie out there. So, we have this, I decided to do two different things this year. So we got one book. So I thought she might you know, really like that. There's that. I don't know how does that fit. Oh, look at that. It does fit in like that. And then, from my childhood, I thought she'd really get this. I, this is one of my books back from when I was a kid. I thought she would really like to read A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. So that's going in there too. That. And of course, just for the fun of it, you know, you've got to have a little bit of fun in these things. So we've got a card game. I've never played this, but it looks like a version of Uno guess we'll find out. So that's going to go in there too. And then we do a pair of socks. Usually they're Christmas socks, but I couldn't find any of them this year anywhere that I looked that weren't an arm and a leg. Thank you, inflation. So I got, I got some practical ones. Yeah, she can wear them 
year round, not just Christmas. Though both my kids wear their Christmas socks every year for all year round, so it's not just Christmas socks. And then of course, you can't forget a snack, which is always fun. Put that in there. And then this year my daughter was asking me for lip balms. So I found these really cute Tootsie Roll type ones at Walmart. I think they were $5. So I think she's really going to enjoy those. Different nostalgia ones and stuff like that. I know back in the day it was lip smackers for the rest of us. That always brings me back memories. So I'll put that in there too. And then we usually put hot chocolate in, but this year I decided to try something different. We've got our heart cocoa bar out in our kitchen. So this year we're going to try one of these. It's called a hot chocolate bomb. Have you guys ever tried these ones? Or hot chocolate bombs in period? I'm assuming you make your hot chocolate and then you add it, but I'm not sure. So, oh, there we are. There's the instructions. So I guess we will see how it goes. Kind of get that in there somewhere. There we go. And then, like I said before, I have always done an ornament in these type boxes. So this year we lost my mom. So I decided to do a commemorative one. There's an angel. My mom was a redhead <laughs> and such. And then on the back, it has her name and her dates. And then the petals you see are from a black-eyed Susan. They were the only flower that survived until after my mom passed. So that goes in as well. And then I was out and about today and at Sally Ann I found this cute little pin I thought she would like. So that's going to go in there. And then yes, I know it says 2014, but I couldn't resist a little buddy to spend Christmas Eve with. Look at that little gingerbread man, isn't he cute? Again, another Salvation Army find. And I'm just going to go right in there like that. Just going to squish him in. And then of course, we will get the lid. And there we are, all done. That's my daughter. This is our son's Christmas Eve box. He is 10 this year, so not that far behind his sister. He also, too, has to stop growing, but he takes after his older brother, who is 20, and is very, very, like, slim. So he still wears kid sizes. He's in a size 10, 12. So he's going to get this lovely little set here. You can see the picture of it right there. It's got a polar bear on it and some warm, fuzzy socks and just very soft like if you could feel this is very soft material so it feels really really nice so that's that's his PJs so let's go in the box like that and then he loves when I read to him I just it's another tradition we do every year we read the twas a night before Christmas we started that back when I was a kid even when we were teenagers my uh a couple of my friends growing up, we would come over and we would do the whole Christmas Eve spend together, party, all that sort of stuff. Like I saw so many nostalgic pictures this last little while when we were going through them and such. And we always had somebody read that Twas a Night Before Christmas. Now we used to have a friend, well we still have a friend I should say, he had the slightest little Irish accent. Have you have ever heard Twas a Night Before Christmas with a slight Irish accent? It is amazing. But I've carried on the tradition with my son and my daughter, and my older two. I did read it to them when they were little. Um, but I've carried on the tradition, and he loves it. So as I got my daughter, or I gave my daughter my copy of The Christmas Carol, I went through and I found, it's a very old copy, of The Night Before Christmas. Like... I don't know if you guys remember these golden books, little golden books, but I thought he would really get a kick out of that. 
and everything. So that's going to go into his box this year. And then for something different, I don't know if you guys have boys, they're into things like Minecraft and all that sort of stuff and Captain Underpants and stuff like that. Well, my son likes the, what is it, the robots books and the, that sort of stuff that looks like little, um, what do you call it, uh, comic strips. So I thought this would be, you know, he like this really cute book and if you look at it it's exactly that you open it up inside and it's like a graphic novel so I thought that he would really get a kick out of that so that's going in there too I gotta pack his a little differently because these don't quite fully fit the right way and then of course you gotta have your snack so there's the Snack there, just kind of scooch it in, maybe like that. Okay, and then even though the, his PJs come with socks, he still gets a pair of socks. So let's just kind of actually, you know what? Tuck the socks in and then put the popcorn on top, like that. There we go. And then, of course, being that you know, he's just like a sister, same kind of stuff. We got the same lip balms. Because let's face it, it's winter in Canada and you can't go wrong with lip, you know, gifting lip balms. They do come in handy. And then he's also got one of these chocolate balm things. I guess we'll have to figure out how they work. But that's the same as his sister. Like that. Oh, let's get the popcorn in there. Uh, popcorn's giving me a little bit of a problem here now. Stuff that in there. Don't you just love it when you're trying to do something and then you have to rearrange it to make everything fit? Oh, lovely. Okay. And then, of course, got him something similar again. Skip out. Kind uh, of same thing like Uno. So that'll be fun to play and figure out with them. And of course, I got him, this little guy, when I was at Sally Ann today, or Salvation Army. It's the same type of nostalgic little pin. Thought that would be a cute idea. So that's going to go in there too. Now his sister made him a little pendant, and I still have to get him to make something for her to go in his her stocking or her sorry Christmas Eve box this little guy she made that out of clay and then painted him and she's so into things that she even if you look on the back of him he's got a butt crack look at that isn't that cute so that's that so that's gonna go in there too next to the little pin and then, of course, his ornament commemorating his grandma passing. And keepsakes that they can keep for and the same petals. You can see I got them, the Black Eyed Susans there. As you can see, her name was Susan, so I thought that was amazing that shortly after she passed it was cold this was back in September and we were already getting a cold snap here in Canada and everything else was dead but we had three or four black eyed Susans that were still alive and I couldn't believe it so I brought them in and saved the petals and incorporated them into their little ornament so that's that so I'll put the ornament right on top of that Maybe we'll put it right there. There we go. And then, of course, he's got his little gingy red buddy. Isn't he cute? And I know it says 2004 on it, but you can't go wrong when you thrift a gift. There's already so much out there. It is nice to sometimes just reuse. It's not bad. So there we go. So you want to get him in there, too. Like, Oh, maybe he'll protect the pin and the little froggy. We'll put that under there like that. And then we'll just put so that's that's his Christmas Eve box. And I put the lid on backwards. 
Hit her upside down, even. Alright, here we go. And there's that for that. And here is the little ceramic Christmas tree from Dollar Tree all lit up. Thought you guys might want to see that. Isn't that neat? Doesn't it just bring you back? Oh, I love it. And I'm sure my kids will too. Well worth the $10 for the nostalgia. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more family fun. Until the next time, have a great night. Bye, everybody.